Ready for some food. Daddy must be having a lie-in. Ah. Ah, should we go to the village and wait for Auntie Zoe to arrive from the airport? <laughs> nice to see you. And you. How was it? Well, it was three days sorting bank stuff for Dad and then a well-earned holiday. Oh, well, it's all right for some, isn't it? Mm. Yes, but that gave me plenty of time to search for dresses. Oh, oh what's this? Oh, and you a lucky little boy. <laughs> Zoe, can we talk later? What's the problem? I'm pregnant. <gasps> Fantastic! Congratulations! Mm. What? It's just I need a word. In private? Well, how about lunch at the Woolpack? Great. Look, um, you probably do with a cup of so I'll go and get some milk from the post office. Mm. He's hungry now. Oh, bless. <laughs> So, what are you two doing down here? Well, home farm was all locked up. I think your dad must be having a lie-in. Oh, well, that explains it, because he was supposed to pick me up from the airport. Mind you, everything he's been through is probably right to take it easy. Yeah. He obviously needs the sleep. All right, come on then, you two. Let's go to home farm. There's plenty I need to tell him. Oh, your dad can wait. Don't say a proper hello. Don't. What's wrong? Us. Everything was all right before you went away. Well, the trip gave me time to think straight. I don't want to ruin your life. You mean you don't like me anymore? Sophie, face facts. How do you think my father would react? I thought he was okay about you coming out. But his daughter having a lesbian relationship with his son's nanny, he'd blow his top. Okay. I'll resign. Yeah. That would cause a massive rift between me and I don't want that, especially now. Right. So we're really talking about ruining your life. <sighs> You have no idea what it's like coming out in a place like Emmerdale. I had a brick through my window, graffiti about me all round the village. Do you really want to suffer that? I don't care what people say. Well, you're not being realistic. Well, we'll keep it secret. Sophie, I am tired of trying to live a lie. So that's it. It's for the best. Then... Say you don't want me. Oh, don't be silly. Say it. I can't. Hello, Peggy. Dad, I'm back. We've not taken you to your walk yet. Dad? Yeah. Soon. Shh. What is it? What? Him. What? Him. Um, hello. Um, an ambulance, please. Uh, oh, I don't know. He's, um, he's very pale. He's lying on the floor. Um, her home farm. Yeah. Hello. Um, If I tried the back door this morning, you wouldn't to know it was unlocked. Maybe I could have saved his life. Oh. You don't know how long he was lying there. What's wrong? After everything she did to him in his life and 
The last name on his lips was hers. But I can't believe this is happening. I don't know what to do, Sophie. And what the hell are you doing here? Come to gloat. I'm sorry about your father. No, you're not. I have to clear up a few things. Can't you stop hounding him? Even in death? We have to make sure there are no suspicious circumstances. What? That he didn't take his own life. You want to know the truth? You killed him. I know you must be very upset. It was you that had him locked up. You that hounded and pushed him and placed him under constant pressure. Is it any wonder that he had a heart attack? I was doing my job. Mr. Tate was under suspicion of murder. My father was an innocent man. And I hope his death gives you sleepless nights for the rest of your life. I make a complaint about that woman. With any luck, they'll throw her out of the police force. So are we. God, I must find Christopher in London. Get him back here straight away. Please. And I'll find the undertaker as well. <laughs> so we stop this. You've got to let your feelings out. I don't know what to feel. I am just numb. And I feel guilty because I think I should be crying or collapse in grief, and I am not. How should I be acting, Sophie? Any way you need to. Zoe, you're in shock. The door's open. But what's going on, Zoe? I waited over an hour for you in the wool pack. You could have at least phoned. What's happened? Service at last. I've come to get back my deposit money from the chalet. Sorry, I can't help you there. Where the hell are they? Oh, Frank's probably knit your money and emigrated to South America. I'm not laughing, son. We're supposed to be moving house today. I could do without this. At last. You can go home, lads. I'd like my deposit money from the chalet. Not now, please. Are you all right, Zoe? Sorry, am I invisible? Just go away. I have a good reason for being bad-tempered today, so what's your excuse? My father's just died. Dad? <sighs> Force of habit. James is asleep. Dad always said if anything happened to him that, um... I should take care of James. We're both well. James is fine. It's you I'm worried about. Well, I... don't suppose it's really sunk in yet. I just can't bear the thought of him... lying alone for so long. On the floor. I'm gonna miss him so much. 